o recepție pentru strângere de fonduri în onoarea unui reprezentant în Congresul American a avut loc săptămâna trecută la New York, cu participarea câtorva zeci de membri ai comunității românești. Loreta Sanchez, membra a Partidului Democrat, aflată în al 18-lea an de mandat consecutiv în Camera Reprezentanților și membra a câtorva comisii importante, printre care Comisia de Servicii Armate a Camerei și Grupul de Sprijin pentru România, a petrecut câteva ore alături de românii care i-au oferit sprijinul pentru alegerile primaries și cele parlamentare din noiembrie. I'm Loretta Sanchez. I have been in the Congress. This is my 18th year. And um, because it's my 18th year, and remember in the United States Congress, 60% of the people have been in the Congress less than 4 years. So if I've been there 18 years, I'm like the senior woman. I'm, the, I'm one of the senior people there. And the House of Representatives works on a basis of seniority. So I sit on three um, different committees. I'm number two for the Democrats on the Armed Services Committee, so all the military. I'm number two on the Homeland Security. And I'm number two on the Economic Committee, uh, the joint committee between the Senate and the House of Representatives. So um, because of that, I get to see a really broad view of what's going on with our country. More importantly, I work a lot of international issues. The monies that we raise are really to get through the primary and then to get really ready for the November election. Today we're welcoming among our community um, uh, Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez from California who is a, a Democratic representative and um, also a staunch supporter of the immigration reform here in the U.S. Um, Congresswoman, uh, welcome. And uh, what can you tell us about um, the situation of the immigration reform uh, currently? Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to be with the Romanian-American community today here in New York City. Um, secondly, yes, we're working um, the Hispanic Caucus The Hispanic members of the Congress, as you know, have always been the ones who make the fight on immigration reform, try to get it in. And I would say that um, the President has more or less told the Republicans in the House of Representatives who have been holding up the reform that they have about six weeks in which to decide to play with us and that if they decide they don't want to play the immigration reform, then the president will start to do things on his own. So I think it's good it, it's good information. It's a it's a good situation either way. Either we pass a reform or the president will do some administrative things to help people who are here. Okay. There's also uh, another track um, and another issue that concerns us Romanian the the reform of the visa waiver program which um, in which uh, Romania and Poland and other countries from Eastern Europe who have been supporters uh, of the United States and uh, helped in the war against terrorism and uh, they, they are not included in this program and um, I believe there is one, one or two proposals in this uh, direction to uh, um, reform the visa waiver, waiver also to include Romania and Poland and other Eastern European countries in this program. Yes, I know that the Department of Homeland Security is reviewing the numbers. Obviously, the American people, what they fear um, with respect to visas is if there's no visa and people come, they might overstay. And as you know, we have some people who have overstayed. That's 40% of the people who are in the United States without the correct paperwork are people who have overstayed their visa from many different countries. So. Um, starting about 10 years ago we started to get very much more difficult about who we don't require visas from and I know that Romania is on the list maybe maybe in the near future to be able to um, do away with the visa. Pe durata serii reprezentanta legislativului american a explicat celor prezenți interesul statelor unite pentru România și importanța ei strategică. Mike Turner is a, a Republican, and he and I have been the Democrat and the Republican on many of these committees on the Armed Services Committee. And he and I were actually the ones who started, we're founders of the Romanian Caucus. Romania, I think, is a, well, first of all, when we look at the surveys, the most pro-American country that we see in Europe right now. And um, 
a very good ally, obviously, on a lot of issues. National Missile Defense, where we're working with them on uh, our, our face, very technical, but our system to protect Europe from um, an intercontinental nuclear or ballistic missile that would come into Europe. And so they're a very integral part of that. They're an integral part because it's what that base that we have, that shared base there, is what we call forward base. And what does that mean? Many, many years ago, uh, when the Secretary of Defense at the time was actually under Bush, it was uh, Rumsfeld, he had this idea that we needed to change where the demarcation line was between the old Soviet Union and the Western countries. And that, of course, was Germany. And he said, we're no longer in that position. The new conflicts of the new world will be in the Caucasus, they're going to be in the Middle East, they're going to be down in Africa. So that's when the United States started taking its troops out of Germany and bringing them back here and working with countries, for example, Romania, to say, we want to place our troops there because we believe that that's going to make us be closer to the conflicts that we will see in the future. And Romania was a very, very key piece of this whole thing. Most people didn't see that change going on because right about the same time we got into Iraq and Afghanistan. And so everybody saw all this, this war going on in Iraq and Afghanistan, but they didn't see the change that we made. And the change that we made is we're no longer in Germany, we're in Romania. You know, because again, that's where we see the pull. Of course, with the energy issues, with the raw materials issues, with what sits in the Caucasus, um, you know, I've I've been out there in Azerbaijan and in uh, Georgia to cut the ribbon on the opening of the pipeline for gas there. So it's a big, big boom that's going on over there, and uh, America has to have a presence there. And so, for all of those reasons, I think Romania is incredibly. Domnul Ștefan Minovici, organizatorul acestui eveniment, primul fundraiser în comunitatea românească, da? în care am avut ocazia să, membrii ai comunității române au avut ocazia să stea de vorbă cu un reprezentant în Congresul American, doamna Loreta Sanchez. Într-adevăr, nu și nu oricare congressperson, ci cocerul, cu președinta cocusului sau al reprezentanței în camera sau al congresului în camera reprezentanților. Cineva care într adevăr pledează cauza României în congresul american, cineva care mai ales în actuala situație geopolitică din Ucraina, Crimea și mai ales după amenințările făcute de președintele rus Putin, cineva care într adevăr vrea să ne apere interesele, se gândește la cauza noastră a poporului român, a poporului din Moldova și um, care știu că ne va reprezenta interesele și nevoile cu cinste în Congresul American, dar mai ales în România. Suntem planificați să ajungem la București um, la 20, pe 29 iunie, vom sta trei zile împreună, vom avea vizite diverse și uh, vrem să arătăm României că, într-adevăr, România... Um, Congresul American ține cont de interesele naționale și mai ales de integritatea teritorială de care România are mare nevoie în aceste zile și sperăm că acest gen de eveniment și-a atins scopul. Cel puțin asta e impresia pe care am avut-o de la cei care au participat. Vă mulțumim și vă dorim mult succes! Mulțumesc și mulțumim Romanian Voice Television că a participat și întregi echipe și sper să ne vedem la Festivalul România Broadway pe 22 iunie. 22 iunie. Absolut duminică. Vă așteptăm cu mare drag. Am reținut.